What's up everyone, welcome to your fifth C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the CN. Now, as you can see in our last tutorial, we used the C out. And um, let's get rid of all of this. And let me tell you guys how to use the CN. What this is going to do is let you assign the computer a variable. As you can see, if I um, redone that, last time we told the computer what we wanted the variable to equal. But what if we want the user to tell us what the variable can equal? So again, let's delete that again. And the first thing that we need is a variable. And let's get a new variable. It's going to be an integer variable. And I'm going to name it, um, let's name it Greg's num for Greg's number. So now we told C++ we want to make a variable that's integer called Greg's num. First, let's ask the user a question by saying C out. Say, um, let's say, how many do you want? Say we were making a, uh, like shopping cart or something. And remember, enclose that in quotation marks. Move this so you can see it. And end all statements with a semicolon. Actually, I want to put... I'm just going to put that on the same line so I don't have to do it again. Now, so our program is going to read first now. How many do you want? And that's it. Next, we're going to make the user give the variable. And to do this, we put cn and put the two opposite greater than signs. And then after that, we put Greg's num. As you can see, we already have a variable named Greg's num. Now, when I ask the question, how many do you want? Whatever the whatever number the user types is going to be assigned to the variable Greg num, Greg's num. That's the same as putting Greg's num equal to 34 or 343. But instead, whatever the user types now is going to be assigned to that variable. Now let's uh just do a um, basic thing to show you guys what's actually going on here. Let's make another C out function, and let's just see your new number is and on the next line all we want to do is uh, let's what do we actually want to do to the number say Greg's num equals Greg's num plus 20 because it's my favorite number now I'm sorry that I used 20 in all the tutorials, but it's my favorite number, so just deal with it. Now, what we have now, to recap, it's going to ask, how many do you want? And whatever number we type into the program, it's going to add 20 to that number. And then it's going to say, your new number is, and again, this doesn't output anything. We just change variable, and then in the next sentence, we want to output it. We'll say your new number is, and then we'll put um. We'll just output Greg's num, and this should be good to go. I would think so. So let's just make um. Let's just end that line, and let's see what we got. Save it. Execute. Compile and run. Hope I don't have any errors. Don't look like I do. And here's our program. It says, how many do you want? And I'm going to type 6. Now press enter. And it says, your new number is 26. So look at this. How many do you want? 6, your new number is 26. X out of this. And let's review this one last time so it will stick in your head. 
We made an integer called Greg's num. And then we asked the question, how many do you want? This is just basic text. It doesn't have any programming meaning. Next, whatever number we typed in, we gave the value of Greg's num. And then we added 20 to that value and outputted the new variable. So this is how you can use the cin function to give data and assign a variable to whatever the user says instead of just making your own. So this is one quick way that you can interact with the user using the cin. So make sure to look at this and study this and get very familiar with this. And in the next tutorial, we're probably going to be talking about functions. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, hope you enjoyed my video.